Israel really needs to get some better propagandists because Yosef Haddad, who posted this video, is a complete joke. What it shows is a an IDF soldier dancing with some Palestinian children and then he says the occupation is over and that it doesn't exist. This is in Hebron, of all places. Now, whilst all Palestinians experience apartheid, Hebron is perhaps the singular most egregious example of it. There are literally segregated streets that Palestinians cannot go down. This is Shahuda Street. Now, there used to be 450 shops here. It used to be bustling, but you now cannot actually access it, and only four families remain there. The thing is, is the reason that this was done right is to protect Israeli settlers who live here. But the thing is, is the Israeli settlers of Hebron are some of the singular most nasty individuals that you could even imagine. There is a place called Kiryat Arba that is nearby and it hosts the tomb of Baruch Goldstein, uh, a mass murderer from Israel who killed 29 worshippers during Ramadan in 1994. And also it hosts Kahana Park, a known terrorist who even the Israeli state had to ban his party and him from running in the elections because he was so racist. If you're wondering what this is, these are the nets that Palestinians who live in Hebron have to put above their houses because the settlers who live above them enjoy throwing rubbish at the Palestinian people going about their daily lives. If you think that one video of a soldier dancing with some Palestinian children disproves the kind of horrors that Palestinians face, then you are, you are, you are a joke. This is like the liberal approach to racism that sees multiculturalism and people from the colonized world being constituted within Western governments that still are very much engaged in exploiting and abusing the rest of the world and saying, well, no, America has a black president, so they don't have racism anymore.